today I want to show you our GovCon Capture Management GovWin IQ integration. Uh, these are my bookmarks and I'm going to walk you through downloading um, one of these opportunities into CRM. So clicking on one of them will bring up all the details of the opportunity. What's important to integrate to CRM is this opportunity ID up here at the top. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to go to my CRM environment. And here we have our list of opportunity requests. So right off the bat, we have a dialogue and it asks us whether we want to download a single opportunity or all bookmarked opportunities. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if we would just want to retrieve one, we'll select this. If we select all bookmark opportunities, um, going back to GovWin IQ, you could see that we would be downloading multiple. Um, and in this case, it would be five of them or six of them. So let's go back and we will, um, we'll select a single opportunity since we have the ID already. It's asking us what the opportunity ID is and we're going to paste what we just copied earlier. And we'll go to next. Okay, now on this screen, it's telling us that our request was successful and the download is processing currently in the background. Uh, this is an asynchronous process, so it kind of does its work and you can continue doing other things if you like. Um, in this situation, we will click on this link and we'll bring up the request. Okay. And this is the opportunity request. Um, we were looking at that list of previous opportunity requests. Um, so this is the one for this specific request. And it's titled according to who requested it, what type of request it was, whether if it was single or if it was a download of all of our bookmarked opportunities, along with the timestamp. So here you'll see all the details that we provided in the um, dialogue. And you can see it just updated right now. It means all the processing has begun. Uh, we received the data from GovWin IQ. And so we are um, beginning the processing. And down here, you'll see we have a, a little subgrid. And since we decided to download a single opportunity, we just have one record here. If we um, decided to download um, all of the bookmarked opportunities, you would see several records here. So we'll click on this one. And again, it's, it's still processing. So you'll see right here, processing status says pending. Um, uh, but let's take a look further. We'll see that uh, the name came through from GovWin IQ. Um, and we have some more information down here that also came through from GovWin IQ. Um, information on the duration. Um, there's a Gov entity um, related to the opportunity, and in this case, it's called the US Coast Guard. We have description, um, opportunity value, uh, lots of details that come in. Um, and with each opportunity, we also have some child records related to that opportunity. So you'll see here, we've, we've created a staging record for each of those. We have multiple companies that are related to that um, opportunity. We have uh, multiple contacts, contracts, FBO notices, and gov entities. And um, some of these companies you see up at the top, um, they might not be uh, directly related to the opportunity itself, but they may, they may be related to the contact. So you, you may have a contact in here that, um, that is employed by one of those companies. And clicking on the staging contact entity, you can see we have some information on the contact, um, email, full name, phone number, 
and we go ahead and create that contact. If it, you know, we'll try and uh, match it according to the information that we've received. If we have found a match, we'll go ahead and update it if we have any information that needs to be updated. Otherwise, we'll create that contact. Once it's been uh, completed, the processing status change, changes to processed, and we have the lookup to opportunity linked here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here we have all the information that we took from GovWin. It's been mapped to the fields that we've selected in the opportunity. And that, that is completely customizable. You can map however you like, and we have everything mapped through workflows. So you have a user interface to map however you like without having to get into custom code or anything like that.